This is the Sedge Island Marine Conservation Zone in Island Beach State Park. Today, four of 21 fifth grade winners of the Species on the Edge Art and Essay Contest were invited to spend a day exploring the diverse marine habitat of the marsh with New Jersey Division of Fish and Wildlife and Conserve Wildlife Foundation biologists. The day started with a one-mile ride out to the Sedge Island Natural Resource Education Center. You know, maybe they've never really had a chance to be in nature or learn a lot about nature, and by researching a species, that alone gets them close to that species. They have a connection now. And then to come out here, they're, you know, they're out somewhere where they probably a lot of them haven't been, and they're really able to connect. After a brief lesson in kayaking, it was time to head out to the Lagoonal Estuary to learn more about this delicate, and endangered habitat. It's about a lot of different animals that are endangered as a result of pressure on the habitat. And I hope in the long run that these kids will grow up to be educated citizens, voters that will help to promote things like the Green Acres bond issue, things like that. And of course, because their parents and teachers are here too, they will also help to spread the word. The fact that right here, things that we're doing as a community would affect wildlife right here in our own backyard is, um, I, think, I think it's eye-opening. And the main pollutant that's getting into Barnegat Bay right now that's affecting it a great deal is fertilizer. Nobody really should have a green lawn in their yard if they live on a barrier island around Barnegat Bay. So what did the kids think about their day spent out on the water with biologists? I learned that about the bay and about how everything grew and about how the, um, the living things live. There's a lot of wildlife, peregrine falcons, and the, like little fish in there, it's pretty cool. I got to see um, animals that I haven't ever seen, it's so, so cool. it's been really special. They understand, and these are kids that are 11, 12 years old, and they really do understand the relationship with non-point source pollution. They can understand bioaccumulation and how the toxins build up from the insects to the smaller fish, to the larger fish, and then finally to the birds of prey that are at the top of the food chain. So they get it, and that's really, really important. Our generation didn't have that, and, and the more people that get that, the more understanding fish. they have, the more likely they are to change behavior. I think you should put him back in the water quickly. Because